Hello and welcome. Today, the church throughout the world gathers to celebrate Ash Wednesday and to begin the great season of Lent. We are called to turn our hearts anew to God and to remember again what really matters. We do something differently during Lent at our in-person masses, and we invite you to consider changing things a bit where you are as well. Our posture to begin in-person masses is to kneel humbly before God. We know that might not work for you, but we do invite you to consider some change in the environment or to your posture as you pray mass with us during this important and holy season. A few announcements. This Friday is the first of our Lent, Lenten fish fries. It will be pre-order, pre-pay, and curbside pickup only. For more information, check out our bulletin or webpage. We offer many other suggestions and opportunities for our spiritual growth this Lent. There are two pages in the bulletin and more to come. We are particularly excited that we have created a five-week online spiritual shot in the arm. These are short videos by Father Joe with a few questions for reflection or to discuss with others. Just click on the Lent icon on our webpage for all you need to get started. Now let us remember our need of God's mercy as we sing our Kyrie. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As we gather on this feast of Ash Wednesday to begin this great season of Lent, we take a moment of quiet to remember our need of God's mercy. And let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, without fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, Proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, 
Let the priests and the ministers of the Lord weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is, your God? Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we have a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds, in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, 
and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance, that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the first day of spring training for the St. Louis baseball Cardinals. Now, for many, spring training, it's, it's like always kind of hopeful. It suggests an end to winter, and for our fans, the hope of a new beginning. And since for the Cardinals, who signed Nolan Arenado, well, there's an extra spring in the step of most Cardinal fans. And, and this year, especially, perhaps, after all the uh, effects of the pandemic with more vaccine in the pipeline, the thought of doing something like just going in person to a baseball game with other people offers a bit of hope for the normalcy that we took for granted. So you can see why this envelope might be kind of cool. Inside it are four free tickets to a Cardinals baseball game. Free parking, pretty good seats, finally a sense of normalcy, right? Cardinals baseball game with some folks you love. Guess when the game is. Oop. September 3rd, 2004. <laughs> Seriously. It, it's kind of a waste. Someone could have used them. Do you ever waste, I mean, lament wasted opportunities? Some wasted opportunities are much bigger than others, of course. Wasting baseball tickets, that's one thing. Ash Wednesday is here to remind us that we don't want to waste something much more important. This one precious life we have been given. In just a moment... We'll hear these ancient words with ashes. Remember that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. It's as if the church takes our faces in its hands and says, Look, see your mortality. Life is short. Don't waste it. Wasting tickets, one thing. Wasting this precious life we have been given, a heartbreaking tragedy. You see, the easy temptation is to spend a big portion of our days thinking about stuff that doesn't really matter instead of remembering that which does to be lost in our grudges and grievances instead of living and learning to love the life we have. 
how easy to not be present to our life as it happens. Lent reminds us we could miss it. We could. We could miss God. We could miss, we could miss truly seeing our loved ones. We could miss living the one life that has been given us while we had it. Perhaps a good discipline for Lent for each of us might be some kind of time journal. I'm still thinking about what that would look like in my own life, but I think it's maybe partly where God is leading me at least. For each of us, without shame or embarrassment, we're not judging ourselves, but just seeing how do I actually spend the hours of my day, right? How much time do I actually spend in the car, at work, doing homework, doing laundry, on social media, in front of the TV, gaming, exercising, doing our hair. I don't spend much time there. <laughs> Whatever. Just name it. Again, no, no shame, anything. Then the more challenging inner calculus about those things that help or hinder are truly living these days. You know, while I am doing what I do, all those things, how often during a day do I slow down enough to become aware of the moment? Maybe a little check each time in a day that we do that. You know, to be mindful, to be present to who or what is before me. I'm, I'm walking down the steps, but here I am walking down the steps. I'm turning into the driveway. I am turning into the driveway. To just become aware, to just see, just how many times a day do we do that? Also, perhaps, to be aware of what are the tapes that play through my head all day? You can have the soundtrack in the back. Are, are filled with anger? Filled with fear? Regret? Or, again, maybe awareness? Or what? And thirdly, then, what helps me wake up to this one precious life I have? Though we can't actually give ashes online. In just a moment, I will say those ancient words that give us that reminder of our mortality. Remember that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. And when that day comes, the day we return to dust, no one is worried about who won that game. How'd the flowers look at the wedding? What level did I get to on my favorite video game? Did I get those closets cleaned out? Nope. There will be three questions on our heart. One, did I love? Two, did I love? Three, did I love? May Lent help us wake up so that we don't waste this one precious life we have been given. Remember that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return.
trusting that God hears us whenever we call out. Let's offer now some of our intercessions and prayers. Remember your church, O oh God. Help us to remember again who we are and what truly matters. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for this world that you created with love. Let there be peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. On this Ash Wednesday, we pray for our loved ones living on earth and for our loved ones who have died. Through their intercession, may we live well these precious days we have been given. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We take a moment of silence to bring the other needs of our hearts. For our own needs and the needs of the people around us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Oh God, we trust that you do hear our prayer, spoken and unspoken. Help us to hear you. We pray in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and, cleansed from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are in 
indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring them to the fullness of your presence. John, <clears throat> with Francis, our Pope, Mitchell, our Archbishop, but all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers, sisters, relatives, friends, who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Remembering our unity with God's people everywhere, we pray as Jesus taught us as part of one family. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. us. And lead, lead us, us not into, into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. 
and with your spirit. Let's hold this world in peace. And if anyone is near you now, please offer them some sign of Christ's love. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, but only, only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are really present in the blessed sacrament. I love you more than anything in the world, and I hunger to receive you. But since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul, at least spiritually. I unite myself to you now as I do when I actually receive you. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. We've begun this great season. And these days are meant to be different from the rest. And perhaps just awareness itself of how we spend the hours of our day and what we think about, where our mind is as we go through it, might help us not miss them might help us not waste this one precious life we've been given. Boys and girls, let's see how Big Al is doing. Hello! What's this? What's this? Well, we're in church. 
Why? It's not Sunday. It's not Sunday. It's Ash Wednesday. Whoa. Cool. What's that? Ah. Ash Wednesday is when we remember what? That we come from dust and we go to dust. I don't get it. Miguel, we got to remember that life is short. Not when you're a kid. Ah, when you're a kid, some seems like it goes forever, doesn't it? Too slow. Ah, when you get older, many of us feel like it goes too fast. Slow down. Ah, we can't slow time down. But we can learn to savor it as we have it. And it's a habit to get into when we're young. What? To learn to notice the days, Big Al. Get your nose away from a screen sometime. Yeah. And like, see, folks, look at your sister. She's weird. Well, look at her, because you love her. And be aware of being alive this one day, Big Al. It, in the end, goes quicker than we think, and we don't want to miss it. We want to love now. I'll say that. Bye. Boys and girls, Big Al said that he hopes it's a good Lent for you. And Father Leo and I and everybody up here praise it's a good Lent for all of God's people. And may what we do help wake us up a bit so we don't miss this one precious life we have been given. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Father Leo, would you be so kind as to offer a blessing? Thank you, Father Jeff. We pray that our God will be above you and below you and in front of you and behind you and beside you in all that you do this Lent. So may God's blessing come upon you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.